Welcome, everyone. I'm here with Richard McPherson, the president, CEO, and director of Midwest Energy Emissions. Richard, thank you for joining us. How are you? Oh, great. Thank you. My pleasure, Michael. Our pleasure to have you here. Really excited to hear more about what you guys are up to. Richard, can you start? Just give us a brief overview of the company. What does Midwest Energy Emissions do? Sure, Michael. We're an environmental technology company, and we've been in business now for the past decade or more, working in the coal-fired energy field, mostly focused on removing mercury emissions from the coal-fired plants. But over the last couple of years, we've made some forays into some new technology developments that we're very excited about and moving forward with those as well. Outstanding. Can you briefly explain the recent mercury emissions regulations proposed by the EPA? What should we be looking for here and what matters when you look at this news? Well, the key to it is, um, Michael, that it really adds strength to the present regulations as they exist, making sure that they never go away, um, which is great for the environment. Um, they'll also tighten things up more over the next while, which may mean some added uh, or incremental um, uh, levels that need to be uh, taken out of the flue gas stream. So all in all, it, um, it means that the emissions of mercury uh, across the country will uh, at least stay the same, if not um, go down. And for companies like us in the space, and there are only a few of us, it gives a great deal of stability to our business and, and we'll be planning to work um, with the new regulations to enhance the emission uh, controls as we go forward. That makes sense. And, and digging a little bit deeper into that, you know, enhancing those controls as we're moving forward, how is Midwest Energy part of the solution when it comes to what the EPA just proposed and the solution to the problem as a whole? Well, overall, we're one of the few companies that have very exciting patented technologies that have been effect, effective over the past decade. Um, we have over 40% of the fleet using a technology um, that we created. Um, so we're going to be able to better customize and work with these new regulations in order to make sure folks that if they do get hit with higher requirements, they're able to do it through our expertise and know-how. Fantastic. That makes sense. And then looking at this from your perspective, right, when we look at this from Midwest Energy's point of view, how do you think these new regulations are going to affect the future for the company and what's coming up next? I think it's just going to make us stronger. Um, you know, we're in a real strong growth mode now, announcing a lot of new business of late and continue uh, and plan to continue to do that. I think with these new incentives in place or regulations in place, um, the consumable side of our business will be enhanced um, because as folks go after more mercury capture, they're going to require more material from us in order to be able to do that. Outstanding. Okay, anything else we should be on the lookout for as we're going into Q1 of 2022 here, moving into February, throughout the rest of this year, and especially the next couple of quarters, what should we be on the lookout for in terms of activity, announcements? What are you guys going to be working on that we should have highlighted? We've got some excellent stuff underway right now, Michael, in the rare earth extraction technologies that we've been working on for the last couple of years. And I think that's really going to come into its own. Another round of testing being uh, completed this month in partnership with Penn State. So I'm very much looking forward to bringing that wastewater remediation and the uh, rare earth extraction of that technology uh, forward. And we should be able to get to a point where we can start to make some commercial projections on that in the coming months, which will be very exciting. Um, the coal ash pond cleanup, which is another area that EPA is now focused on, is something we've been focused on for the last couple of years. And I think we're going to be able to make some real commercial sense out of that over the next few months. Um, other than that, our business is growing nicely. We're expecting significant growth this year, given the start that we've got into the year. And we um, will be reporting that on that, of course, uh, quarter by quarter as we go through the year. Outstanding. Looking forward to seeing that happen. Rick McPherson, President, CEO, and Director of Midwest Energy Emissions. Thank you for being here. Can't wait to chat again soon. My pleasure. Thank you, Michael.